Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and you're watching uh, a tutorial based on the excavator design in Kitia V5. So the assembly design workbench is already open and uh, let's start off creating or uh, inserting the components of an excavator. So the basic component uh, which is to be inserted in the very beginning of the uh, design is the base. So I'm going to insert the base so the base over here uh, is already inserted and uh, the next step is going to give the constraint of uh, fix and I'm going to fix the component and the component is fixed and if I try to move it it's go not going to move uh, in any of the directions so I'll give it with respect to constraint uh, make sure your check is on and if you try to move it it's not going to move so it's constrained well and now let's insert the next component that is the body so I'm going to existing component with positioning and I'm going to click on the product and the next component that we need to insert on this is the body and uh, we have a small uh, window that is uh, the smart pool window and I'm going to give the coincidence constraint make sure your checker is on over here otherwise uh, the automatic constraint is not going to work out so I'm going to do the coincidence and then I'll click on OK now the coincidence constraint is done but still you can see that uh, the body have a complete uh, movement up and down over here so uh, let's just uh, give an offset constraint or uh, say a contact constraint over here and I'll just give a offset of say 3 for the opposite and click on OK and uh, let me update this so we have our second component being inserted here and now let's check the degrees of freedom for this so I'm going to edit, move, manipulate and uh, let's see if it moves on the x-axis, no, on the y-axis, no, on the z-axis, no, it doesn't move. So the only degrees of freedom for this is the, rot uh, the rotation on, the, uh, uh, on this particular axis over here. So let me hide this and bring this back to the figure and let me try to rotate it and it's going to rotate so this is the only degree of freedom that uh, this particular component is supposed to have with respect to the base so I'm going to click on the cancel <coughs> and we have our base as well as the uh, body being inserted here and properly constrained so uh, <coughs> keep watching to finally come up with the assembly and finally the simulation of our uh, excavator design in the Kitia V5. Thank you so much for watching.